concert in someone's room. Would you like to meet them? Hello! Hey, yo! <laughs> Hello. Oh, the lighting is horrible! We have my doppelganger in the back. Oh. I'm straight up not wearing makeup under this mask. Give you a peek at this mask knee. Oh, you don't even need to. Though. The mask knee is insane though, so it's like oh, it's a bad yeah. time. I'm about to do Brax's makeup and also style Ooh. his wig a little bit for child, but look at how good this looks. Look who just showed up! Yeah. <laughs> you had the Archon, the Anima Archon opening the door for you. Oh, How's that feel? Funny. Look at this filming setup. It's <laughs> so only interviewing a bald child. We're here today with celebrity YouTuber Braxathon. We're gonna be doing his makeup. I'm using the Give It To Me straight palette. There's nothing straight about this setup because Zhong Li is filming this. <laughs> I'm literally only gonna do eye makeup because we're all wearing masks. Yeah. Right, so yeah. what's that, the that, fucking point? I checked out. Yes, fair, yep. actually. So literally, it's gonna be so simple. I'm just gonna do like a little bit of dark browns on the outer corners. Lift cool. your chin up a little. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know if I wanna keep it. Wait, 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 can you flick it for a second? Flick it? Yeah. Oh my god, what the heck? Help. Is that like hairspray or is that just... This is just, it's just heat styling. It's just heat styling. Yeah. So you basically, you're melting the fibers a little bit. They're prone to being reshaped at that point. Does it, does and it like... And then you hold it until it cools. Damage thing or, yeah, or is it just like... So kind of actually, there are some wig fibers that will literally melt. So you have to buy wigs that are heat resistant. Ah. Mm. A trick that a lot of cosplayers will do is like framing the face with the extra fibers. Mmm, yeah. Make your, your face look skinnier, but you already have such like a skinny anything, face. You should be showing off the jawline. So okay. We can just frame your like oh, yes. eyes. the crimson chin. <laughs> <laughs> you got like the you got like you got like the Henry Cavill like chin going. Crimson on. chin. <laughs> Presenting our twenty minute child. <laughs> Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, baby. Is it good? Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah. 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 That's a lot better. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Man, y'all are stylish. I should have, like, got it. Where's your cosplay? cosplay? Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Look at Ted Ted. Yeah. Woo! Look at those heels. Yeah. Woohoo! Slay! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Rex and I are on our way to the food trucks, and of course we run into an entire group of Genshin cosplayers. And of course this young Ling is an old friend of mine. Wait, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sucrose at night, but cryo. Oh no, you said it! Sucrose at night. I got my unnamed board, guys! I'm here and alive! We're reunited! <laughs> All it's right. a boy child. Oh god, why are you so cringe? <laughs> it's Mona Lisa. Mona oh, it is Mona, Mona oh Lisa. <laughs> we found the Genshin food truck. Woo! Woo! Look, it's, it's the guy you're babysitting. It's the guy you're babysitting. Yeah. How's he doing? He's doing okay. Is I haven't his, seen him in a little while. Is his one Mora lasting him? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I had to go to the bank again. <laughs> What's on the menu? What's on the menu? They really made a real job, Mora, and called it Mora Me. I have some boba. We got mora meat and a tricolor dango, and then two ayato bobas and a gacha cupcake. This is the most exciting part. Wait, I love loot box. Do you want to open your loot box? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I'm gonna get a three star. Oh no, it's a weapon. You yeah, it's a, it's a weapon. <laughs> Yo. Hey, yo, you got Let's go. Okay, okay. Here we go. It better be venti Genshin Impact Drop. <gasps> Even better, I got you. Yeah. I win. <laughs> I've won Genshin Impact. Dead friend Impact. Dead friend Impact. Here we see the white man trying a dongle for the first time. This is like what I imagine eating clouds is like. Clouds. Like when you're on a when you're on a plane as a kid and you like look at outside, there's like a bunch of clouds. And you're like, yeah, and that probably tastes really good. Like, <laughs> Earlier, Brax was like, what's dongle? <laughs> And I was like, hmm. <laughs> oh, that's true. Let's put this, put it in the Ayato boba. Oh my god. Because there's no boba in it right now. It can be dungle milk. Mora meat, moment of truth. I don't see it. Ow. 
Oh, there are bell peppers in it. Oh, wait. It actually looks kind of good. Like it actually, yeah. I, no, I, I might come back one. You should go get one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'll get one later. It's Ningguang specialty. Oh, I forgot about that. But yeah, in Chinese, this is just called a rojiabo. It's a oh, very standard street here. Oh, okay. I'm learning so much. It's, you're you're uh, getting cultured today. Yeah, white man learns food. The white man learns food. But I'm also technically white boy right now. Oh, true. <laughs> Yo, the animation is so clean though. Connor, is it the cutscene? Uh, are we going to force him to watch the cutscene? I, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think we should force Connor to watch the cutscene. Oh, I don't want We're headed to the, the Genshin Impact exhibitors booth right now because uh, Yasha has an event with Zekia on the stage. So I'm gonna be filming it from the audience. It'll be fun. Hopefully they don't kick me out. <laughs> we are now behind the scenes at the Genshin Impact booth. It's really sad. This is so beautifully done, but like no one can see it. Like you can't, the audience can't actually see it. Because like, there's like the stages on the other side of this. So no one can actually see this, this beautiful bit, but it's nice. It's a little storage area. We got a lot of cosplayers back here. Bunch of cool activities. <laughs> um, there's one where basically I have to throw, I have to throw a slime at a hilatrol, and then one where I have to throw a chili at a guava. Tears of Thieves food truck for so long. I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> I just spotted it. There it is. We oh, got it. Is there a line? Wait, oh, look at their little, look at their little hands. Look at, look at their little hands. I'm holding Lu Zong's hand. <laughs> there's a persona truck too. Yeah, there's no line at the persona truck. But there's a long line at the Tears of Thieves. The line was too long to this year's Athena's food truck, so I'll come back tomorrow and hopefully it'll be a little calmer because it'll be Monday. Oh well. At least we found it. Now I know where it is. This is the area of AX called the Horseshoe because there is a horseshoe. <laughs> um, but it's a popular photog area. I have Griffin here with me, an old friend at this point, a really good videographer, and we're gonna shoot some fun Yae Miko clips. I'll give you some behind the scenes shots, but we'll be a while for the finished product, so stay tuned. One last look. 
at the so-called photographer corner, which I now know is called the horseshoe because of all of these freaking horseshoes, some kind of modern art piece, I guess. I'm gonna get undressed, take a shower, and go to dinner. I booked a sushi place for us tonight, so it'll be good. All right, that was my last day of cosplaying at Con. I'll see y'all back in normie form in just a moment. Three, two, and I'm in normie face right now, and that's kind of it, honestly. Tomorrow I'll probably keep the vlog pretty short and simple. I'm just going shopping, so. All right, we're full normie mode today for day, fuck, what day is it? Day four, day four, heading out, gonna grab my camera. Don't know where the spare battery is. Everything in the room is a mess. It's okay, it'll be fun. Bye. <laughs> Time to attempt Tears of Famous Food Truck round two. The line is way, way, way shorter today. This is so much better. I'm so glad I waited to come back. I'm gonna go hold hands with Marius again though. Oh, hello, son, I'm back. I'm back, kid, back to harass you. Gonna lick your ice cream, haha. -ha. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of taro flavored things, but for Marius, I'll do it. All right, thank you. I got Marius merch for getting the Marius float. Look how cute he is. Look how cute he is. Time for a taste test. Actually, that's pretty good. Not a big fan of taro, but that's pretty good. There's also ice cream on the top. I should probably eat that before it melts. I've been putting this in the sun to get like some nice photos, so it's definitely melting. I'm gonna lick Marius's ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm at the Honkai third booth right now. Look who I found. The lady. I'm leaning on upon your shoulders. Anyone else jealous? Anyone jealous? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the Honkai Star Rail booth saying hi to the cosplayers! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Guess who I found last but not least, we have... Naha! <laughs> I'm so rich at that look, look! I have three of them! <laughs> This is my harvest for my friends. I'm gonna distribute these when I go home. I met Danny in line here. Look at Danny's outfit. Yo, hey yo. Rocking that albedo, uh, what are they called? Berets? Alberet. The lapel pins, holy crap. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, they're so good. I really like the glasses change. That's a good touch. Thank you so much. I like my outfit. Oh! I stopped here because I got recognized by Danny. <laughs> Y'all make it feel like a celebrity. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. Oh, <laughs> it's nice to meet you, nice Danny. Thank you. thank you for showcasing your outfit for me. <laughs> I was just about to leave all the Hoyoverse boots and then I found the one and only. What's up? Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna fan, fan the king. That, no, you're the queen. <laughs> Did you get footage of cosplay? Uh, I think it's fantastic. Thank by the you. Way. I'm glad you really liked good. that. Really good. Braxophone, you see her panties because she made it look fantastic. I need to ask you, would you be willing if you could do my cosplay? Not like now, but like one day in the future. Let's do it. Yes. I get to do your cosplay makeup yes, too. I get to do your cosplay makeup. Good to see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye to the Genshin booth, guys. Bye. Anime Expo was truly exhausting, but it was also so much fun and I got to meet up with friends I hadn't seen in ages, including my VTuber Mama Nico and my logo designer Para and a bunch of other friends and artists all throughout Artist Alley. I bought a lot of stuff from Artist Alley even though I didn't get to spend that much time in there actually. Saw a lot of fantastic cosplays, got a lot of good food. When in LA you gotta eat good food with good friends, good hangouts, I had an industry badge. We got to see the exhibitors hall while it was still empty. I didn't get COVID, <laughs> I had great roommates. There is so much more I want to say, but it was just such a fun con experience and I'm just amazed at, at how wonderful one small weekend can be. All right, AX, it's been a fun time. I'm about to head out. I did my final Artist Alley wander and that's kind of it. That's always how I wrap up my cons. I do one last gander through Artist Alley. All good things must come to an end. Thank you, Anime Expo. Thank you, Hoyovers, for having us. It's been such a fun time. Everyone say bye, Anime Expo. So bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! <laughs>
I hope y'all had fun following along on my AX journey, and I leave you with some fireworks from the last night on 4th of July. Alright, whether it is morning, afternoon, or evening, have a wonderful time of day, and I will see you all next time.